Hola, this is Anna. How are you today? I want to share some tips that I've learned the hard way um, about traveling with you today. And uh, traveling can be sometimes a bit scary and specifically now through everything that we are going with this nasty coronavirus even more. And uh, sometimes even when we prepare outsell ourselves before traveling, um, you know, you can get sick, you can get stressed. There's a lot of uh, different conditions that can affect us being out of our home. And I actually experienced that the hard way uh, last month. And I understand now why a lot of my clients tell me and share with me how hard it is for them when they travel to stay uh, with a fitness program and also to eat healthy. So last month I had to travel to New York for a personal matter and then to Denver for a business training. And that was from the weekends of President's Day to the next one. So I only had like two or three days in between to be home and recover from one trip before I was going into the, the other one. So I have to say I haven't been sick for probably a couple of years, but when I returned from my trip for um, in New York, I actually fell down sick for like two days. And uh, at least my immune system, I think is strong enough that uh, I didn't have to stay in bed for a long time, but I have to change my plans. I have to suffer the consequences of being sick and I have to cancel some of my clients, which um, I never liked doing that and I feel very guilty, but I had to take care of myself. So I jump into the next trip um, with not that much of a break, but I was able to come back and, and be okay uh, during the, the following week. And this is what I learned and these are some strong reminders that I want to share with you about traveling. Number one is to make sure that you rest and that you sleep before your trip. Being well rested, be having enough sleep is going to help you to prevent any disease you can get along the trip and also feeling tired and stressed. Number two is to take uh, healthy snacks during your trip as well, because on airplanes, highways, these places are not the best to find healthy food. So if you already have snacks, your chances of having something that is not so healthy are gonna be less. And I have to confess, I think the reason why I got sick is because I didn't plan that well this time, which I usually do. And uh, I had a couple of not so good meals. And I know that my system, when I don't eat well and I eat more sugar or more dairy or more gluten or drink a, a little bit of alcohol, it's gonna be more prone to get a virus, even the smallest one. So bring healthy snacks. Number three is to make sure that you meditate or just take a moment for yourself to relax. And if you're not into meditation, um, I recommend those noise canceling headsets that can actually re reduce the noise around you and help you relax. Or bring a good book if you're a reader. Just make sure that you have that with yourself. Number four is to make sure that you move all the time and as much as possible. Because when we travel, we are sitting for long period of periods of time, sometimes in not the most comfortable positions. So even with your bags, you can stand, you can walk around a little bit before you get in the plane. Even in the plane, you can move your wrist and do some circles with them. You can turn your ankles so you can allow a little bit of that circulation, uh, your blood circulation, not to stop when we are actually sitting for a long period of times. That was number four. And number five, let me see if I can remember. Oh yes, very important these days. Just make sure that you wash your hands often and try not to touch your face, specifically your mouth and your eyes in order to avoid getting any kind of contagious disease around the way. Oh, and one more, and this is something that I also always do, is take some preventive supplements with you. My favorite ones are colloidal silver with oregano and edelberry, but really find what works for you. My boyfriend likes Airborne, and it seems that works for him. 
So whatever works for you, I would just stack up those and take them on your trip so you can make sure that you're trying to prevent anything coming your way. So this is what I learned. I'm glad to say I'm back to healthy again and feeling good, not traveling for a little while. And I hope this helps you and that you can take some of these tips on your next trip. If you are curious to know how I work with people, you can always schedule a complimentary strategy session and I'd love to talk to you more about this or any subject in regards to health and wellness. Thank you so much for watching. Stay well and healthy and safe travels. See you in my next video. Thank you.